Hi, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well today. This is Kathy, and I am going to share two websites today that encourage creativity. The first one that I'm going to share with you is called Sketchpad. And Sketchpad, you can get to it by Googling. If you just Google Sketchpad, it will take it to you. That big, it'll look like that big colorful S there is the icon for the website. Um, you can create, sketch, and draw on here. There are a lot of different options. I'm going to try to go through some of them so you can see what they are. Uh, a nice way to learn it is actually just get on there and, and just experiment with some of it. And you can see how many different things you can use to create something uh, special. Uh, you can share your artwork that you create create on it online, or you can even download it to your device when you're finished with it. There are different options, a JPEG, PNG, SVG, and a PDF file. Uh, they do have an option to download it, but it does cost $4.95 to be able to use it offline. Um, so if maybe if you get in here and you really like it and it's something you could use, that's a, a pretty good price for a good sketching program. One nice thing is as you're working, it auto saves for you when you're on the internet. Um, there's no login needed to use it either. And so that's another nice option about it. Um, how does it work? So here is the main toolbar. And when I get finished with this, I will take you directly to the site and work you through uh, each thing so you can see what it looks like live. But um, with the toolbar, you see the in the yellow, it's got a paintbrush and a pencil and a pen. Uh, that's your toolbar. And then it has layers. You can create layers within this one on top of another to overlap. There is the history, so if you want to see what you did so many steps back, you can click the history bar. There's an undo and a redo. The plus button is a new drawing. The file icon is if you had created previous drawings, they would show up there. And then uh, the hard floppy drive, it looks like the say it's the save button. That is your export button, and that's where you can download your files to your device. And then the setting, the gears is your settings for your sketch pad. You can turn auto save off and on and some other things there. So here is a few screenshots of some of the toolbar. The first one with the pointing device, that's your select. It allows you to move, rotate, and scale different things on your device. Um, and then the one beside it is your crop and resize. You can change the size of your picture, that kind of thing, right there through that option. And then the magnifying glass is your zoom. You can zoom in real specific to a spot on your creation and uh, be able to fine tune some details with that. And then the calligraphy that looks like a feather, that's a calligraphy. That's how um, you can draw and different things with that. And I'll go through the settings on that so you can see what it looks like. And then you have a star. The star is where all the shapes are. There's all different shapes that you can add. The T is for text and they have a huge variety of text that you can use um, right, on, right on your page. There, there is really a nice variety. And then um, the smiling face is images in clip art. You can even upload your own image from your device on there if you have something specific you want to use to create with. And then you have vector fill or pixel fill uh, that will determine your background, how you want to fill it um, in your creation. So let me go ahead and take you to the website itself. You have the option to get on here to choose the type of background you want. You can have blank, a grid, a, a graph, lined, loose leaf, a notebook, blueprint, or transparent. So I'm just going to go blank and I'm going to click create. So this whole white area is your creative palette. So if you go up here, again, this is your select tool, your crop and resize, and then your magnifying glass. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the options here for what I want to do on my background. So as you can see, there's tile brush, pencil pen, there's tons of different things that you can use uh, to draw with on your background. And I'll come back and draw with those in just a second. But if you go to this fill right here, right now the fill opacity, there's nothing set. So if I click this set, you can choose by color, different colors. There's linear, there's all kind of different colors there. There's radial, and then there's a pattern. And it shows you on the right a preview of what it looks like, so that's kind of nice. And then you have the option of an outline. You don't have to have an outline. You can make that a zero if you want to, or you can choose one there. Uh, and then you have normal, or you have other different types of editing that you can do with the colors um, right down through here. And, and this is something you just have to mess around with to see so you can see what you like. And then this is the size of your brush or whatever you're using that it'll show you. Um, and then you have the option to repeat it or do a mirrored repeat here. The next one is the star. And with the star, if you hit that down arrow there, you'll see there's all different shapes that you can use with that. And then the text, there are tons of different text you can use um, right there. And it, it's nice because if you hover over it, it gives you the preview of what it will look like before you type. And then you can also change the colors with that. And then the clip art, if you hit that down arrow again, it will show you all different clip arts that are available to use. And again, if you hover it, it'll give you kind of a preview of what it looks like. You can even search for a certain kind and see if they have something there that you're looking for, or you can upload your own image from your device. You can change the opacity also, and it gives you the preview of what that looks like on your screen. And then as far as the vector fill goes, um, you have vector or pixel. I'm just sticking with vector just to give you an example. I'm going to use a radial to show you. So say I want this one. If I click, it gives, see how it gives me this circle and I can make it bigger or smaller, whatever I want to do on my screen. Uh, you can also use these little knobs, so say you want more blue, I could drag it out to make more blue. So it's very user friendly, um, and I'm going to show you a couple things. I'm just going to put a clip art on here just so you can see what it looks like. Let me put the owl, and it's nice because it gets, oops, I just put two owls on there. It will, it gives you the option to, to resize it if you want to, so if you can drag it and you can make it smaller or bigger or put it wherever you want on your screen. So that's a very nice tool. And then the shapes. Uh, so say I want I want a radial burst on there and I want it a certain color. Um, See, so you can stretch it in and out. Small, you can do small ones, bigger ones. So you have lots of options built into it. And it's pretty fun to mess around with, I think, um, just because there's so many different options you can do uh, with it. So uh, if you get a chance, check it out and see all the cool things that you can do with it and different creations that you can make. And again, if you're like, oh, I don't like that, you just hit that undo button and it'll take it off. Okay, so that is just a quick overview of Sketchpad. Jump on there and check it out. Like I said, you don't have to have an account or anything. Um, just see see what it can do and see what you can create. The next one is Bomomo. And the easiest way I would say to, to get to it is just to Google Bomomo and it will come up. And, or you just type in bomomo.com because it's pretty self-explanatory how to get there. And what it is, it it is kind of like an abstract art uh, creator. It's pretty basic. There aren't a lot of things to click on and go to to find. Um, you just have circles and you click on them. So I'll show you uh, what it looks like. I have an example here of the toolbar. As you can see, there's a lot of different uh, directions or shapes that you can use with it. Um, you're not going to be able to come up with 
a specific picture or anything, but but it is it's kind of neat because it's abstract. So let's go ahead and go there to Bomomo. And when you first come on, there are these circles anywhere my cursor goes, it follows them. So I'm just going to click. You click with your mouse and you drag them around and it gives you different colors and lines. Whatever you draw is what it gives you. If the circles are bigger. Of course, it has bigger um, lines. If you go down here on the bottom, there's different shapes. See how this one's kind of all over the place crazy. Uh, wherever you drag your cursor and click, that's where it will put the ink. Uh, here's some that are smaller, but it's pretty fun to mess around with just because you can have all these different cool shapes and, and colors and um, wherever your cursor is or if you go over a certain area, it's going to stay solid with your cursor down. So say you wanted it a certain place and you wanted a bunch of this color and you just hold your cursor down and it will make that color there. Um, they're all different ones. So my my suggestion would be for this is if you just try it out um, because it it's it's fun to play with and it's makes some nice little backgrounds for you if you're trying to create something and you just want some kind of great abstract background. This would be one of the tools that you could use and it's free. And then when you're finished with it, you can download it very easily. So if you go over here um, to the save button and you click it, it'll give you an automatic download or automatically download a JPEG of this picture right to your device. Um, if you decide, okay, uh, I like that, but that's not what I was looking for. I want to start over. All you have to do is go to this white and this is new and then it just makes it start over. And again, you don't have to have any kind of an account to do this. Um, it's built into your browser and you just go on and do it and download your final creation. Well, I'm glad that you guys could join me today, and I hope that you try these sites out and, and make some great creative designs. So thank you to Guiding Ohio Online, and I hope to see you again on Thursday. Thanks.